Hi, this is Frankie. Welcome to a video tutorial on how to use virtual dub to remove the shaking and the motion of a video. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to load up my video. And as you can see, there's a lot of movement in the video. So let's start with audio interleaving. Change the delay audio track by value to 1000 milliseconds go to audio full processing mode audio compression choose any compression codec next go to video filters add in a filter look for the shaker version 2.7 there you go under scale under uh, pass one make sure pass one is selected under scale, go for full most precise, use pixels all or most, most robust. Click OK. And uh, click OK. And click on this uh, icon over here, the one with the triang uh, rec triangle at a zero. OK, as so you can see right here that uh, it is actually processing the uh, video. Yeah, and uh, you can see the dots that are being processed as well as the red dots with the arrow heads. So the computer is actually uh, detecting the motion of the of the pixels and uh, comparing it with the previous frame. So there's a lot of calculation going on, and the computer should be able to finish this uh, fairly quickly. As you can see, I've almost reached the uh, halfway mark of this very short video. For long videos, it's best that you would take a long break, perhaps uh, have a lunch or go for a snack, tea time, Milo or whatever. So this process is actually very process intensive and uh, although you have to wait, definitely the wait is well worth it because the results will be uh, much better than the original video and you will be quite satisfied with the whole process. Yeah. So looking at the tape now, we've got a little bit more to go. And I hope that you will be patient so that you can see the fruits of your labor. This virtual dub software is uh, pretty good. You can do a lot of things with it. And uh, removing the motion is one of those tricks that uh, not many people know. So at the end of this video, you will be able to do this for yourself in your own videos. Yeah. So don't worry too much about holding the camera steady. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to go to video filter one more time. Click on the, the shaker. Click on configure or you could double click on the highlighted line. And now we choose uh, pass number two. Pass number two, make sure for the edge compensation, choose adaptive plus fix no borders. And then uh, click OK. Click OK. Now before we continue, make sure you choose a compression codec. And the type of compression that I really like, which is uh, has high compression up to 10 times smaller, uh, that's what it will do to your video, is XVID MPEG-4 codec, that one over there. So uh, now we're going to file, save as AVI, and uh, less movement. Now I'm going to type uh, the name of the file, less movement AVI. So as you can see, uh, processing is done very, very fast by XVID. I'm going to end up with a file with a file that is uh, very very small not even 500 megabytes or 500 kilobytes okay there we go we finished it through so let's close this and let's uh, play less movement okay so as you can see there's uh, much less movement yeah okay that's great and uh, Last thing I'm going to do is just to show the two videos uh, side by side. So if you just give me about uh, 30 seconds. Hold up, there we go. So now you can see the two videos and uh, let's run them. As you can see, the video on the right has got much less uh, movement compared to the video on the left. Perhaps we could uh, do this. Okay. 
so that's it.